Welcome back to the Daily Sadhana series. This one is all about the standing postures from the Ashtanga method. We'll do a gentle warm up and then get right into our standing poses. The focus is on sustaining, so sustaining our breath and sustaining um, a longer hold in posture. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're absolutely stoic and still, but it's awakening to the posture holding it long enough and breathing deep enough that you start to build layer and layer of muscle, um, turning each of these like stances, postures, poses, asanas into this fully embodied, active way of being. You might get a little bit sore, that's great. Um, and definitely have an opportunity to work on some alignment within these uh, popular vinyasa postures. Let's start in a comfortable seated position. Let your eyes close if that's comfortable. Take a long inhale. Heavy exhale. Draw your shoulders up, inhale. Relax them back and down, exhale. Tilt your right ear to the right shoulder. Let your chin drape down past your chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Chin to chest. One more time to the right shoulder. Roll your head through center and tilt towards the left shoulder. Bring your head down to center. Inhale, palms wide. Lift them up overhead as you open up through your throat. Ground your right palm. Lean your left arm up and over. Create a big side body stretch. Take a full breath in, so roll your shoulders back. On your exhale, bring left fingers over towards the right corner. Inhale, roll back, open up your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, down to the corner. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, lean. Walk your hands to the center, crawl them a little bit further away. Slowly roll all the way back up, sweep your palms wide. Let them meet together overhead, over heart. Ground your left palm, open up through the right side of your body. Use your first inhale here to draw your shoulders back, lift your chest. Exhale, lean towards the corner. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Do that once more. Inhale, roll back, lift up. Exhale, reach. Walk your hands to the center. You could be seated on your hips or knees in a child's pose, whatever feels most comfortable starting out. Roll all the way back up. Big inhale, lift your palms. Bring your hands to your heart. Set an intention for this daily sadhana, daily devotion of practice, devotion to self. Start to breathe long and deep just through the nose. Letting your low belly pump and assist your breath. Keep your breath flowing in this pattern. Bring your palms to your mat. Step into your tabletop, hands and knees. Cow pose on your inhale, draw chest forwards. Exhale, cat, round your back, bring chin to chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Do that one more time, big bend in the elbows as you transition from cat and cow. Tuck your toes, hover your knees just off of the mat. Give your shoulders a little roll. 
then spread your shoulder blades out. Lift your torso a little bit further away from the mat while keeping your shins parallel. Take a full breath in, lean forwards. Downward facing dog, press back. Pedal out your feet, get a little bit of movement, working into your ankles, working into your hips. Take a full breath in, rise up to your tiptoes. Exhale, press back and down. Walk your feet all the way up to your hands, letting a lot of weight stay on your palms. As you come forwards, bend your knees as much as you need. Lengthen, shift your weight to your heels. Forward folds. Roll all the way up, extended mountain pose. Samastitihi. Set your hands by your sides. Take a full breath in, draw your shoulders up. Full breath out. Stay nice and strong in this stance, shifting it more from this passive way of being into that active state, active way of being. Bring your hands to your hips, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold for Padding Gustasana A. Bring your feet hips width. Find peace fingers on your big toes. Lengthen halfway. Bend your elbows, pull in. Give your head a big shake. No, and then nod your head yes. Halfway lift, inhale. Now pull in, exhale. Your elbows could bend wide, or you can start wrapping your elbows closer to your shins. Push a little bit more weight down through your big toes. Three more breaths. Lengthen halfway, Padahastasana. Scoop your hands under the soles of your feet. So your toes come up closer towards your wrists. Roll your shoulders back and down once again. And now bend your elbows, pull in. Five breaths. Add a lot of action into your legs. Draw your kneecaps up and then lean your weight forwards, pressing down through the ball mounds of your feet. You might even get so light in your heels that they feel like they're hovering. Lengthen halfway. Return your hands to your waist and pause right here for the exhale. Inhale, rise up. Samasthi to he. Trikonasana A, step your right foot to the back. And then turn your left toes in, right toes open towards the back of your mat. Use your inhale to reach out past your right leg. Exhale, hand to your shin or hand to a block. Gaze towards the left palm. This is triangle pose. We're working a lot of opening for our right inner thigh and then a lot of opening for our left oblique. Press through the crown of your head, get as long as you can from tailbone through the neck. Full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, rise up. Keep your arms wide. Switch your feet, our right toes turn in, left toes open to the front of the mat. Inhale to lean. And exhale, drop hand to shin. If you're using your shin rather than a block, avoid grabbing. Instead, press the back of your hand to your inner ankle. Gaze up towards the right palm. Low belly breathing. Engage your quads. This is an easy one to lock out our knee joints and forget about that muscle activation in our thighs. So take a little conscious thought, conscious effort into your legs. Wake them up more. Full inhale. Fully exhale. 
rise all the way up. Revolve triangle, Trikonasana B. Square your hips towards the back of the mat, so our right leg is forwards. Inhale, left arm to the sky, big breath in. Flat back, exhale. Great spot for a block right underneath your left palm on the inside of your foot. You can also ground your left hand on your foot or on the mat. Reach up through your right arm. We're building that same triangle shape, but with a big twist from our hip. Smooth, steady breath. Inhale, rise all the way up, letting the left hand lead. Pivot to face the front of your mat, our left leg is forwards. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Flat back on your exhale, pause. Check in with your hips. And now ground your right hand on your block, on your foot or the earth, reach up through the left fingers. Draw your fingers together. So we're trying to harness our energy in, pulling it in towards our center line. Building on that inner awakening. I think of it as like the line of least resistance when I draw even my fingertips in together. I feel like I'm charging up my energy, letting it flow with ease through the central nervous system. One more breath. Stay for the exhale, keep pulling tailbone back. Inhale, rise up. Inhale, rise up. Our right arm leads. Samasthiti, he step to the top. Extended side angle. Right foot steps back a little bit deeper this time. Create warrior two on the right leg. So our left toes turn in, right hip opens. Inhale, reach past your right leg. On your exhale, ground your palm behind your foot. So our knee is in front of our shoulder. Left arm goes overhead about 45 degrees. Make sure you can see your palm. Plug your left shoulder back and down. Charge up your left leg. Try to press out through the blade edge, the outer ankle. Three more breaths. If your knee is touching the inside of your shoulder or your armpit, gently press it in a little bit tighter. Inhale, rise up. Switch sides, right toes turn in, left hip opens, bend your knee, reach past your left leg, then ground down, left palm behind your foot, right arm overhead. Low belly breath. We want to feel not only our low belly and that navel center pumping, we want to start to feel each of the muscles between our ribs the intercostals, everything assisting our lungs, assisting our energy to flow. Inhale, rise up, revolved side angle. Square to the back of the mat. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, carve your left arm across your right thigh, reaching to the outer edge of your foot. So here, I usually keep my right hand on my thigh, and I try to lift my torso, twist it, and then let it relax down on the thigh. Right arm up overhead or out at that angle, matching what we did in the open variation. Smooth, steady breath. Your next inhale, rise up. 
pivot forwards for the left side, starting off in warrior one. You could also start in your crescent lunge or your low crescent lunge. Reach out with your right arm. Exhale, cross it over your thigh. So this is a really deep twist. The connection of our chest down on our thigh and then adding in that layer of belly breath, ujjayi breath, really gives a squeeze for the internal organs for everything housed in our chest cavity and behind the abdominal wall. Good to do this first thing in the morning to stimulate your digestion. Practicing on an empty stomach in order to cleanse out anything that is sticky, stagnant, stuck, energetically, physically, mentally. Take one more breath in. Stay for the exhale. Rise up. Samasthi Tihi, reset. Prasarita Padottanasana, wide leg forward fold. Right foot steps back. Parallel your feet, hands on the waist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold for the A position. Drop your palms to the mat. Lift up with your tailbone on your inhale. With your exhale, fold in. Walk your hands back so that your palms stay underneath your elbows. Fingers stay in the same direction as the toes. If you've got a nice bend in your elbows, hug them in so they're right in front of the shoulders. You might even press crown of your head into a block or into the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Bring your hands to your waist. Exhale, right here. Inhale, rise up. Arms wide, reach out. Return your hands to your waist. This time, squeeze your elbows back. Lift through your chest. On your exhale, fold. Our hands will stay on our hips for this B variation. Press your fingers right at the hip flexors. Let your thumbs Press in along the low back. Hug elbows towards your spine. See if you can recreate that depth just by using your deep core from the pelvis, from the rotation of your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms wide, bind at the low back for our C position. Interlace your fingers, reach down to lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe. Belly breath, ujjayi pranayam. Inhale, rise, arms wide. One more D variation, bind peace fingers on the big toes. Lengthen halfway. Exhale, pull in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, lengthen, hands to your waist, hold, flat back, inhale, rise up, samasthitihi, step to the top, give your shoulders a little roll, pyramid pose, create reverse prayer with your palms, roll shoulders back, step your right foot towards the back of the mat, turn to face your right leg, take a long breath in to lengthen, Exhale, fold, working our throat open, gaze towards the toes. Notice if your shoulders want to roll in, keep hugging them back. 
One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, rise up. Pivot to face the left leg, shifting forwards, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and strong. Inhale, rise up. Samastitihi, release. Standing leg raise. Balance on your left foot. Bring left hand to your waist. Lift your right leg, take a big toe bind. Roll your shoulders back, start pressing out with your heel. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Open your right hip to the right side. Gaze towards your left shoulder. One. Two. Stay with it. If you lose your balance, recreate. You can also bring left hand to the wall if it's nearby. One more breath. Bring your leg back to center. Take an inhale to lengthen. On your exhale, bend your elbow. Fold chin to shin. Inhale, lengthen. Both hands to your waist. Stretch out through your toes and squeeze your elbows back. One. Keep your leg up. Two. Gaze at the toes. Three. Four. Five. Release. Keep your right hand on your waist. Bind on the left toes, other side. Roll your shoulders back. Big breath in. Grounding breath out, one, two, three, four, five. Rotate open to the left, gaze to your right shoulder, one, two, Stay nice and strong with your right leg. Keep lifting your right kneecap up. Glutes squeeze in. Strong hips. One more breath. Bring it back to center. Inhale. On your exhale, fold chin to shin. Inhale, lengthen. Both hands on the waist. One. Two. Three, four, five, release, shake it out. Take a nice long inhale, both palms overhead. Forward fold, exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen, halfway. Low plank, step or hop back. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take five breaths right here. One more inhale. Stick out your tongue, lion's breath. Lift your right leg to the ceiling. Half pigeon on the right side. Bring your knee out towards the right edge of the mat. And then send the left leg a little bit further behind you. Take a full breath in to lengthen. Exhale, folds.
Inhale, roll all the way up. Step back to your downward facing dog. Sweep left leg to the ceiling. Half pigeon, left side. Make sure your knee is coming out about 45 degree angle. And then your foot can be as close to your hip as you want. I try to avoid bringing my shin parallel. I just find it a little more difficult in my knee. I like my heel closer just to support my hips, support the rotation, support all of the joints. Take a long breath in. Then exhale, start folding your chest towards the earth. Inhale, roll up, step back to your downward facing dog. Full breath in. Empty it out. Gaze to the top, come all the way through to a seat. Crisscross your ankles if you're walking in. Crisscross your ankles if you're taking a small hop. Send your feet forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We'll just take three breaths here to finish out our standing series practice, grounding our energy, letting everything soak and absorb in. Roll all the way up. And then come down to your back. Rest in your Shavasana. Five to 20 minutes, however much time and space you have right now. If you have the full five minutes, if you have longer, just go ahead and pause the video and your body will naturally reawaken you. If you need to finish right here, just take three more breaths. Bring your knees to your chest, roll over to your side. Gently lift up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. Rub your palms together, generate some friction, some heat. Bring your palms to the crown of your head, touching your crown chakra, your 10th gate, this portal of energy flowing in and out. It's our connection to the divine, connection beyond. Bring your fingers to your third eye, your wisdom center. What knowledge did you come here with that is just waiting to be realized, unlocked, released? Bring your hands to your throat to massage. Stimulate this communication center, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom, sharing your divine energy. Also stimulating your listening, your receiving, your hearing. Bring your hands to your heart, massage your receptive power. What will you let in today? Hands to the navel, our core, moral center, that gut energy, gut intuition. Trust it. Let your hands come to your sacrum and the low back, our creative energy. What are you bringing into the world? 
ideas, thoughts, tangible objects, beings. Bring your hands to your legs, massage all the way down to your feet, firmly grounded foundation, deeply planted roots, stability, safety, security. Inhale, palms wide, let them touch together overhead, over heart. Return to Anjali Mudra, hands at the heart center. Thank yourself for the daily sadhana, the daily devotion. Set an intention to visit again tomorrow. Namaste.